As you can see, my tele TV is only rolling TV stand. Previous videos on the floor. I thought about installing it in my master bedroom, but I realized my master bedroom TV is much bigger and better quality. Um, and then spending some time watching the tele TV, I realized I'm not gonna have this TV replacing any TVs in the room. I mean, it would be a great uh, spare bedroom TV, but you know, tele wants you to have a lot of use as TV. So I decided to pad it on a rolling TV stand. So I use it in my office majority of the time and I throw it on the outdoor patio or the garage. So when people are over, we'll throw the game up there or I'll connect the switch to it and we'll just play games outside from the switch. So I'll give you a little rundown what the TV stand looks like. It's pretty tall, it fits the TV pretty well. A little bottom stand. Uh, I can throw a link of where I bought this TV from Walmart, it's very cheap. So. Here's the TV, it was, it, the TV is pretty heavy. Um, you can see the LED strips going across the TV. They're very bright, which I'll later on show that. For the Android TV dongle, I'm powering it up with the USB 3.0 port. It does a good job, I haven't had any issues powering it up with that USB port. Now what is interesting, there's a USB-C above here. I have not tested it or tried any products with it. So not sure what the future integration would that be. Maybe a, a camera of some sort. I'm, I'm not sure. So we'll I'll have to do some more research on that. So powering up the TV. Backlight comes on. As you can see, it's extremely bright. Um, now in the latest version, an ad will show up. Before, an ad did not show up. Uh, a sound does come from the ad, and which is easy to mute. On the right hand corner, it says press the A button. So just press the A button, and now the uh, ad is muted. And then you can press it again to unmute. So on the controller, you have your uh, directional buttons to your buttons to control the top portion. So top one controls top of the TV, and the bottom one, which is illuminated, controls the bottom TV, which is great depending if you're on a different HDMI mode. So going through, showing you what the uh, the sports portion does goes in gives you a little bit of highlights from espn this will cycle through it will change to different ones and one of the other widgets you can add is nfl scores um if there is a game today it will show it um it's a little hit or miss sometimes and then the weather will show you of course the weather was just showed that in the previous video so going through the home feeds you'll see for you and inputs right now they're currently the exact same um, later on, you will show you a TV tuner. Yep, it will come over and pop up later on and for you and inputs. TV tuner, I haven't tried an antenna or I don't have any cable TV, but if you do, you'll just do your uh, your search on here and it'll, it'll generate the uh, channels that you do have. So now you can see TV tuner is back located there and it's a quick access now if you are using it. So going over to music, so it has live one and Spotify. For Spotify, seamless, what you'll do is just log in, scan the QR code, and then it'll bring you up to your uh, your Spotify, uh, where it's currently dashboard, which you have on your phone or computer for, for fresh new music and your audio books and etc. cetera. Uh, just to test out the sandbar, I'll end up going to today's top hits, and um, I'll have to make sure I play that have that song linked in here so I don't get in trouble. Um, it sounds great. Uh, it is easy to navigate through Spotify. So I'll be using this pretty regularly uh, just for some background noise in the office. Uh, you can continue scrolling through the bottom of it while you're listening to music. You can top up the corner. The song is continually playing. glancing through Spotify. <clears throat> so for your next music one is Live One. I personally never use Live One, but on this TV, it's pretty nice. It only utilizes the uh, the bottom bar. So very simplistic, straightforward, like here is music you can listen to today. Um, I didn't really play this one too much. I went to just a regular country one and it did a great job. I was unsure of the, the weekend Christmas, with Just Right Radio, that. so I just hit next and it actually worked. So it took me to the next song. Now, you can't play Live One and be an HDMI. So if I go to my Android dongle, 
it will stop playing the music, which is expected. All right, so navigate, navigating back through it. Uh, so now you have game room. So you have remote controlled, phone controlled, and motion controlled. There's a lot of remote controlled games. Um, a lot of things where we are very familiar with back when, you know, our uh, smartphones had the most basic games. So I just went to one we all know and love, Tetris. And then you'll be able to get a uh, quick little view of the gameplay. Uh, not much lag at all, if any. Um, I didn't really have a problem. But when you do play a game, of course, Telly being Telly, you will be introduced to an ad. As you can see, it was a 30 second ad. No, no big deal to me. Um, so quickly just choosing a level thinking I can really not, you know, conquer level eight. Um, you can see my awful Tetris skills going through, but you know, look, no issues. I mean, it's a simple game and um, it's, it's definitely great to just try to burn some time up with using this TV. I don't think I'll be playing the game too much, but I'm glad it is a feature, of, if anything. So we'll go through the uh, phone controlled. Right now there's none. Uh, and then motion controlled, same thing, none. Uh, I'm not tra uh, tracking the releases of when these will come out, but I assume it'll, it'll be in following January or continuing. But the next one's video controlled, is Zoom. So now, now you can see the camera will be opening up. Um, at first I thought this will be, uh, well, the camera doesn't open up yet. First, I thought this would be a, like a manual slider. From what I read from an article long ago, um, but that was incorrect. It is um, mechanically opened uh, via the TV will open that. So we'll just navigate just through, navigate through. And so when you choose while you use the app, you'll first see Zoom pop up and you're like, uh, this is awful quality. But then when you say, well, use the app, it will get better. So then as you can see, I zoomed in on the camera. The port did open. So just give you a closer look at what the camera looks like inside of it. Kind of focus in. So there goes your camera. I'm not sure on the specs of the camera. It's, it's not going to wow you, but, you know, just for a basic office setting or just, you know, joking around with it. I mean, it's, it's all right. I don't think I'll ever use it. Um, but yeah, this is what the quality looks like. There's your, uh, you can stop the video, you can hide the video. So you can see the shutter just closed, open it back up, and the uh, the shutter will come back open. Yep, there we go. It's pretty seamless. Uh, you got your mute button, and in the top left corner, you got your meeting ID. Uh, what I did think was interesting, I found a way to get to a browser. Now, I haven't seen a browser app inside it. You know, can I actually use this as a browser so here we go of me uh trying to operate the browser So I got to Google, um, kind of just navigating where it's through. I couldn't get to these trending searches. I, you know, I clicked to see if I can quickly get to one. So um, just later on made it to the search bar. Uh, I clicked something that it, web page was not available. I wasn't sure what I quit, clicked. Uh, there we go, search football. So after I searched it, I was accidentally controlling the bottom screen. All right, so there we go. I got a quick uh, Google search of football. And I wanted to see if a link actually worked, and I made it to NFL.com. Um, it really gave me a nice little desktop view um, and not really a mobile view, so that's nice. And the page came up pretty quickly. It is off Wi-Fi, but the access point is probably roughly... Uh, 
I don't know, nine feet away. All right, getting out of Zoom. Just going to navigate to the bottom menus again. So I already went through video calling. Fitness will be coming soon. I'm not sure what kind of fitness. I think it'll just be um, okay, YouTube fitness, but you got accessibility. So your closed caption, you can toggle that back and forth. Um, but now there is more uh, languages that I see that was available for closed caption. So I'll go through what languages are available. There is a great cuts um there was no shortcuts i could possibly use so i didn't see anything there so having it enabled it wasn't really um didn't really matter right now all right so next we're going to go back to our settings but we're going to check the ambient light um this is a great feature i do love the uh ambient light all right so now we're just going to go and toggle through the colors. So here's devices. Um, it's pretty simple. I, you can toggle these features on and off, and um, <clears throat> you can be able to uh, control and change the uh, HDMI uh, input names. So I didn't change it, but it's where you can change it if you need to. And next is network, so it's where you go and change Wi-Fi's or change Ethernet's if you need to. Uh, picture and sound. Picture and sound did get a good update. We have a lot of picture settings that we can change now. Um, so now if you go to advanced, you see the noise reductions. Uh, you will also see the uh, white balance and color tuner, which I, was, I think was not available on the uh, early release of the software. And also a smart screen backlight, so which is pretty cool to use. So I'll go through what the uh, the ba white balance looks like on the bottom screen and show your R, G, and B gains. And then you get your color tuner, which is your R and uh, gain and, and G gain. And then for the uh, smart screen backlight, I know a lot of people say, you know, what, it's going to stop me if I uh, covering up the bottom portion. Uh, you can turn it down, uh, the screen backlight, to almost make it where it's non-existent. I don't recommend covering the bottom portion just to get away from the ads. There's a lot of great tools in that smart screen, so I don't think it'll be valuable to you if you would just end up covering it. Maybe just cover it on the right-hand side, but it's 
you're never going to notice that. You just see the sound bar in the TV, and I never really look at the bottom one. Too much to focus on. And then lastly, it's our uh, system settings. Sleep timer, some basic ones. Um, after we transition from, uh, away from sleep timer, we got power, so our standby mode is pretty quickly to get to. Help and support, you can capture a, uh, a bug report issue, so if it's something's happening, you see a screenshot was taken. Um, you can reboot your TV uh, and system information. You can't click on any of the system information here. Um, it's just for informational purposes. You you know, like on Android phones, you can just go in and look at more settings, but you can't change the DNS from that screen or anything. So it's just me checking for updates. No updates. Yep. And this is how you turn a TV off fully. So one press, turn off the screen, and then hold down the power button, and the bottom TV turns off. It's uh, it's pretty seamless to use. Um, you know, so far, I'm, I'm pretty much enjoying the Tele TV. It's it's a great spare TV, um, you know, having it for my office or the patio. It was, we did a friend's Thanksgiving. I threw the TV out, had the game on. Everyone loved it. I mean, people wanted to get this TV. So, you know, I don't think it's definitely going to be a, depending on the TV in your home, maybe it is a, a TV that'll be great in one of your rooms. But, um, but I'm pretty sure we all have TVs that are Atlas. And, well, Atlas, you know, every app you're going to go on to is going to show you an ad I mean, it's you can't get away the newspaper has ads so yeah great little spare tv to throw i i'm enjoying a tele tv I'm, and uh enjoying this beta testing and i hope everyone else is if you know if you have any tips or tricks that to show me about this tv or some things i miss or maybe how to get to the web browser or what the usb c is let me know in the comments you know it'd be great to let everyone else know that's using this tv